In this video, we will see how we can work with task split. I have a small project which talks about in-house development. Let's assume this activity called training originally was planned to take duration of two days. For some reason, after one day of training was over, on the second day training did not happen. Maybe there were floods, there were some some natural calamity, something that took place because of which work did not happen on day 2. If I simply go here and change duration to 3 days, it indicates that training actually took the entire duration of 3 days, which is not true. What actually happened was training took place on day 1, second day because of some unavoidable circumstances, training did not take, pl take place and on the third day, training again resumed. So here the scenario is activity started, it stopped and then it resumed back. Therefore changing duration directly will not give us the right picture. So how do I make project understand this kind of a scenario? If this is the situation where you start, stop and resume work, you can actually split your task. On the standard toolbar, there's a special icon for task splitting. Click on that icon, your cursor will now change. As you move over the task, it will actually indicate the date on which you want to insert a task split. Just click once. So if you see here, this is indicating work happened for one day. Nothing happened. The dotted light indicates that no work happened during that time and then work again resumed back. All other linked activities will also be shifted by one one day. But the overall duration of the project or the task rather if you see will still indicate two days. So this is how in scenarios where work starts, stops and then resumes back, instead of changing the duration, splitting the task is the ideal feature to be used.